storage room gets out of control because that's our one spot in our house where we just kind of like throw everything. It is the collection spot. When we declutter an area of our house, that's where we store the questionable items we aren't sure if we actually like use or not. And it's also where any like gifts or items that we might have end up. Now, I love that we have a designated spot, but because of that, we have to go through and declutter that area at least four times a year. I like to do it every time the seasons kind of change. It's kind of my like note to self to, to, to declutter our storage area. So I'm gonna have you come along with me as I declutter our entire storage area. So this is our storage area. You can see we have a lot of stuff going on in here. We have my craft supplies, we have holiday decor, and all of the items that, you know, just kind of end up making their way into the storage area. Once things get kind of crazy in our storage space, that's when things don't get put back into place. So it is time to tackle this spot. First thing we're gonna do is take everything out that is on the floor. Most of the things that are on the counters or put away in bins are still organized. The biggest culprit are the things on the floor that end up taking space. So we're going to move those out of the storage room. Now the floor is clear. We can walk into the space. There are a couple of things that were on the counters that didn't belong. There are a couple of things on the shelves that I needed to take off. So those items I put with the other items on the floor in another part of our basement. Now I grouped the items together based on what we're keeping and what's going back in the storage space versus what I'm going to sell and or donate. I also found items that just ended up in our storage space that actually had a spot to go within the storage area. So I did a quick scan of all the items on the floor and I found some things where I knew exactly where they go, like our birthday bags and tissue paper. I store all of our tissue paper inside a magazine holder and I store all of our birthday bags in a standing file bin. This way, it's really easy just to pull something out, wrap a present, and go. So I grabbed those items and put them away. There were also a couple other craft supply items that I knew exactly where to go because all of our bins were labeled. So I put those away first. Then all of the items that I'm keeping, I put back into the storage area. Our towels. Usually we keep our towels by our front and back door so that the kids can grab them during the summer, but seasons are changing. So that goes back into our storage area. I just stack them on top of each other. Holiday decor goes back in holiday decor bins and any other items that may have been on the floor but can stay there, I put back in the storage closet. So everything that's left, I had to decide what I'm keeping and what I'm donating and sort them into two separate piles. I put keep on one side, I put donate on the other. As I sorted through these items, I found out that there was some garbage in there as well. So I had a third pile called garbage. The items that go back into the storage closet went back into the storage closet. I made sure to put them away or we found another spot for them. Like that blue rolling cart, well, my husband needed it when he set up his office space in the basement. So that actually went in the basement. We had some bins and other baskets that we found different homes for based on where we needed stuff within the house. But there were other items that did end up back in the storage spot, like pictures. We have a spot next to some of the drawers where we hold our pictures that don't have a spot at this house at this moment. Now you can see the entire storage space is back together. We can walk in, we can find everything that we need. All of our holiday decor is all set up. All of the stuff that, all of my craft supplies are all put away back in the drawers and bins because they're all labeled. All of our gift wrap stuff is put away as well. So my biggest tips when decluttering your storage space is one, use bins to keep your holiday decor and memory boxes. If you want more tips on how to do that, check out down below. Another tip 
is to declutter your storage space frequently. Ask yourself what you're doing with these particular items. If things aren't hanging up on the wall, ask yourself why and come up with a plan for where you're going to hang that particular picture. If you have items you wanna sell, make sure you sell it by a specific date. If you want more on donating and selling, don't forget to check out the video below. Now it's time for you to tackle your storage area. Start by removing everything, sorting it into piles, put back the items that must stay, and get rid of the rest. Love what you see? Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Wednesday.